Hello, it's Dynamic Dan here, and today I'm thinking all about the story of Jesus eating with the sinners. They sat down together and enjoyed a large fish and chips. No, of course they didn't. It would have been a jumbo 12-inch pizza. Stuffed crust. No, maybe it was a Caesar salad then. Lettuce pray. Lettuce pray. No, actually, I've got no idea what they ate. But the point is, Jesus chose to spend time not only with people who do good and nearly always get things right. He chose to be with people who make mistakes too. People who get things wrong and who sin. But what does sin even mean? Well, I've spotted a really interesting way to explain it. So let's take a look. Sin means all of the mistakes we make in life, the things we get wrong. Whether that's bad thoughts, bad words, or bad actions, we all make mistakes and none of us are perfect. And you know, when it comes to sin, a bit like this blue hanky, we all blew it. And sometimes we can make a complete mess of things. Again, like this hanky, which is covered in all of these white spots and splodges. And a bit like real spots, sin can leave a mark on our lives. It might be a mark that we can't see, but it can leave a stain. And that's where Jesus comes in. So I have this bag. Why am I using a bag? Well, a bag is used to carry things, and Jesus came into our lives to carry away all of those sins. And this bag is red, which reminds me that he died on the cross, and it's through his blood that we can be forgiven for the mistakes we make. Now let's see what's inside the bag. It's, uh, oh, it's empty. There's nothing in here. Well, Jesus will never make empty promises. So let's see what happens if I take hold of all of this sin, all of these mistakes, and all of this messiness. I'll take it in my hand, just like God wants to take us in his loving hand. We'll turn the bag back the right way round, and then we'll think about Jesus on the cross, and the fact that his body was broken. Let's see what's happened to all of those spots, all of those splodges, and all of that sin. I think it's worked, look at this. We now have just holes. It's like we're given a new start and a fresh beginning. But where is all the sin? Where are all the spots and splodges? Well, let's check in the bag. You see, on the cross, Jesus took all of the sin upon himself so that we could be forgiven and have new life in him. And that reminds me that he truly is holy. And that's the whole truth. In the story, Jesus ate with the sinners, even though the Pharisees didn't think this was the right thing to do. But it was a way of showing that he loved them and cared about them, no matter what they'd done. And you know, this is still true today. Jesus knows we're not perfect, we all make mistakes, and we don't always have life in the bag. But he still wants to know us, love us, and forgive us. In fact, if you're thinking that Jesus loves us no matter what, you'd be spot on. Well, I've been Dynamic Dan. Have a wholesome week. Stay awesome and bye for now.